Well, good morning. It's day 162 of our daily broadcast from Shore Hope Church. Well, friends, family, and those who join with us each day, God bless you. Good to see you this morning again. Pray that you've uh, been encouraged and um, knowing what it is to appeal to the highest court, to know God's justice being outworked. Um, and that's and that's our cry today. Uh, we join with David in, in Psalm 7. Before I forget, though, I just want to mention uh, this evening, 7 o'clock uh, on Zoom, uh, Richard is going to be, Richard Parkhouse is going to be leading our prayer meeting for tonight. So we've established a prayer meeting, a weekly prayer meeting on Zoom. And uh, the details, the ID number will be broadcast on the WhatsApp group uh, during the day. Um, so we're, uh, we'll let you know on that. But be encouraged and join with us uh, as a fellowship. We need to be praying. So much to pray about at the moment. And particularly with our plans in place all being, <laughs> being set and worked on right now. Uh, with regards to having our first Sunday service back in Shawhope Church building on the 13th of September. Uh, so that's um, a couple of weeks away now, but we, we're making preparations. There's lots of things to sort out. Um, and of course, um, making sure that all the social distancing uh, guidelines are maintained and adhered to. Things will be different, no doubt. They cannot be the same as they were before at the moment. But we're looking to God, so um, we're able to meet together, and that's a huge step in the right direction. And of course, um, the, the the heat is on, the, the gas has been turned up, it would seem, um, because we realise that the broadcasts and also the Sunday service being available on, on YouTube um, has involved so many other people who are looking in and, and watching and listening and learning um, and, you know, the gospel is being proclaimed, the good news of Jesus, we're making him known, and so we want to continue uh, with doing that on the Sunday as well, making our Sunday service available online, um, as well as having a service um, indoors um, as from the 13th of September. So that's just a little reminder, um, and particularly important, don't forget the prayer meeting on Zoom, seven o'clock this evening and we will let you know during the day on the whatsapp platform what the id number will be okay so psalm 7 let's let's get back into our study and um, we've seen that it's david's appeal to the highest court to heaven's court to god as the righteous judge who on the grounds of his innocence he's not guilty of the charges that have been leveled against him that this character assassination that's been that's taking place um that uh, he's not guilty and he says first of all lord save me and he needs to be saved from this ferocious attack um <clears throat> which if god doesn't save him will lead to his death and he says lord search me um Fine, you you see if see if I'm guilty. I, I've I've lost I've lost the plot. It may it might be just me at the moment, but uh, things are a little bit foggy. Uh, I'm, I'm just a bit my brain's gone a bit gooey at the edges. Is that you? It obviously was happened to David. So you're not on your own. It happened to David, and it happens it happens to us all. You know, we we know we're not guilty. Well, I didn't do that, but did I? <laughs> Lord, I, I, I look, rather than me search myself and come up with what I think to be a reasonable conclusion, Lord, you search me, and you you come to your conclusion, and I, I'm I'm happy with that. And if I need to, if I need to be punished for it, if I need to know what it is to um, to experience, you know, um, your your judgment, your um your discipline then that's fine um but it will lead to my death because um there's no way i can survive this attack so so lord save me uh lord search me and now today uh we have lord support me okay lord support me um and he says we as we did 
So reading from verse 6, Psalm 7, uh, we'll read uh, 6, 7 and 8. He says, Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Awake, my God. Decree justice. Let the assembled peoples gathered around you a rule over them from on high. Let the Lord judge the peoples. And then judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, according to my integrity, O, o Most High. Um, so, verse 6 today then. Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Rise up against the rage of my enemies. Await my God. Decree justice. <laughs> this, is, this is rather interesting because... Um, mm, arise, O oh Lord. Do you remember? Yeah, we've done that twice um, in this block of, of 11 psalms that David uh, wrote. It was in Psalm um, 3 and Psalm 10, um, where we have this expression, this phrase, Arise, O oh Lord. Um, we've seen it before, and it's, again, a passionate cry, just to remind you, and it was the cry when the Ark of the Covenant was to be moved, was moving on. Um, when they were bringing everything together, it was time to move on. Um, you know, the, the pillar of, of, of cloud or, or the, the light, the, the flame at night, if it moves, God's presence moved, then we're, we're on the move. And the camp was, was raised with, with an alarm to say we're on the move. And the cry from Numbers, Numbers 10, I think it is, Numbers 10, 35, is arise, O Lord, we're on the move. It's time for action. It's, it's, it, it's an immediate call. It's not for, oh, by the way, um, I'd like you to get ready. Um, it's um, something that we're planning at the moment. So what we, we like to do is give you forward notice. We give you advance warning. Uh, we give you some sort of information that will just um, encourage you to, to get some plans in place. <laughs> Put it in your diary. Um, I like to give people several months notice of a special speaker that's coming, uh, that's, that's sharing a testimony, whatever it happens to be. And, and we want to invite our friends and family and neighbours to come and hear this wonderful story. So, by the way, put it in your diary and we'll remind you next month and we'll highlight it again a few weeks later. Uh, just just make sure it's, 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 it's registered. No. Um, and by the way, it won't, it won't be too long now. <laughs> no, arise, oh Lord, now. Now, it's a passionate cry for action now. Uh, it's something that's going to be done immediately. Um, David references the God's anger. Don't forget God's righteous anger. When when injustice is done, His righteousness, He's right in all His ways. His right way of doing things decrees that He has to act in justice. It will be done. And so David says, no, it, no, Lord, no, please. Um, not, uh, rise up, he says, rise up. It's like as if he, David feels as if the, the God's inaction means that he's not interested. Um, that it, it's, it's, it's of no consequence to, to God. Um, so, Lord, rise up. And then he, look, look, this this needs to be done. This is urgent. This is a nine 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 call, um, and um, and the, the handler says, you know, is the patient breathing? Um, well, yes, he is, but only just. <laughs> we we need we need help now, uh, and and help that might come in two or three hours' time is not going to help us. That's going to be too late. David says, nine, 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 he's calling for action. He's calling for help. Arise, O oh Lord. Um, um, now would be a good time. And, and then he says, awake, <laughs> as if God's gone asleep. And of course, we know God doesn't sleep. But that's how urgent and how passionate David had come to that place of realizing the seriousness of the situation that he was in. Um, and he even asked God to wake up um, because it would seem to David. And come on, let's be fair. It seemed to you on occasion that God's not 
concerned. He's unaware. He's oblivious to what's going on in your life. And it's not true. He, he, he knows exactly what's going on. He, he's fully aware. And your cry for justice, your appeal to the highest court, your cry for action. But notice David's cry for action was specifically on the grounds of the end of verse 6. Awake, my God, decree justice. He was asking for justice, that's all. He'd been charged with something he hadn't done. And that had caused such fury, as it says in verse 5, such fury. His enemies were so mad at David because of this character assassination, accusing him of something he hadn't done. All David's asking for is God's justice to be done. Cry to him today. He does see, he does hear, and he does understand. Arise, O oh Lord, we seek your justice. Heavenly Father, I just pray for those who feel embittered today and, and embattled and, and surrounded and even overcome with with feelings of 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 defeat. Lord, I pray that as they cry to you with a passionate cry from the heart, that you would indeed arise and awake and bring justice to the matter. Lord, we appeal to your righteousness, your right way of doing things. Lord, that justice isn't just done, but justice is seen to be done. That was David's cry, and that is our heartfelt cry today. That your name will be honoured and glorified in all of this. That your intervention will bring glory to your name. And will be a mark of testimony for the future that we will never forget. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Be blessed and be encouraged. Amen.